You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a very interesting program. I want to introduce, first of all, Patrick Ford. Welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you. Thanks for being on and joining Thanks us. Thanks for inviting me. You have an exciting program, Active Parenting of Teens, that is being sponsored by BMC and the Family Center. Tell us about it. So uh, the Family Center is one of the uh, 14 family resource centers that have been set up across the state of Massachusetts to help to strengthen families, provide so support to families, and also to link to uh, resources in the community. Uh, so part of that program is providing parenting groups. So this is a new parenting group that we are trying to get started here in Brockton, and it's really focusing on uh, parents of teens. Well, I gotta tell you something, they, teens do not come with an instruction manual. That's true. Uh, my teens are no longer teens anymore, they're in their mm -hmm. 20s, but um, no, nobody writes the book on how to deal with teens right, effectively. Right, yes, and people basically kind of uh, learn as they go, or they parent based on the, the way they were parented as mm -hmm. children. So, And some of those styles are probably not useful today, so part of this is kind of helping parents to develop new skills mm -hmm. uh, to deal with today's teenagers and the issues that they face in modern society. And today's teenagers get bombarded with all sorts of stuff that I never got bombarded. Right, precisely. I'm certainly aging out of that age group, but you, this is a six session, let me see mm -hmm. if I can say that right, six, six session, session. Uh, activities, discussion, real world examples, all of that. Um, six sessions and it's two hours, so it, 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 it starts on or about the 11th of January. Right, yes. And so part of why we are, are here is to kind of promote it a little bit more, to get the word out so we can get some more parents uh, to join with the session that's about to start. I mean, we are prepared to be flexible on that start date and maybe start a little later if we can get more families involved. And the format that we, uh, this session is going by is what they call video discussion. So it's actually uh, parents will be given a workbook which mm -hmm. they can use to follow along and also to take home. And uh, when they meet, when we meet together, rather the group, you will be watching a video and also like discussing uh, what you see on the video with the other parents who are there. And it can be two parents of a team. Sure. It can be uh -huh. single parent. It can be single it's any, any, any um, family type, really single parent, parent, two parent, grandparents, anyone. Really. That's what I was going to just say. I know the Family Center has a grandparents. Grandparents raising, raising grandparents uh, group, which meets on Tuesday evenings. One of my good friends is involved in that. Oh, Louise. okay. Uh huh. Louise, okay, Louise. Paul, Paul and Sherma. She, I knew her from Massasoit. I teach over at Massasoit, okay, and yeah. she was a good friend of my dad. And she's still active. She, mm -hmm. she's, she's like a, a teacher at heart. Right. There's two really great ladies who run that group, which mm -hmm. is growing, and we're glad to say that. So, help me sell this. What would people get out of this? How? Um, I'm, you're familiar. You're the you're the you're the facilitator, the teacher yes, of it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Myself and one of my colleagues will be facilitating. Okay, so, this. what's the hook? Getting them in. The hook is if you feel as though the way that you're parenting your teen is not working and that you could probably use some uh, skill development, this is, this is the, the group for you. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we will be focusing on developing skills, teaching skills and helping parents to develop new skills. Um, and every week there's, we're addressing a different topic. So we will introduce people to what we call active parenting. That's the, the name of the group is active parenting of teens. And they use that term to kind of distinguish between what we call reactive parenting, mm -hmm. which is basically when your teenager does something, you just respond to what they do. Active parenting is a little bit more of a leadership style. It's asking parents to maybe anticipate what are some of the issues that their child may face and to be more of a leader and not just respond to what their child is, is doing. So, um, you know, we will have a special session that deals with drugs and alcohol, a session that deals with violence, a session that deals with sexuality, sessions that deal with, deal with discipline, and um, parents will be expected to do homework from week to week, and mm -hmm. that's part of their skill development, and then come back, uh, practice some of the skills at home with their uh, their teenagers and then come back into the group and talk about what that experience was like and if those things worked and get feedback from other parents. Is this a new program or has this been around for This has a while? been around since probably the early 1990s and mm. this is across the country. This is what they would call, um, it's a 
research-based, an evidence-based group, which is that this is something that researchers have looked at and found that it's very helpful for people in terms of their skill development. So this is done all across the United States. I was trained here by someone, a trainer, mm -hmm. coming from, I think she was out of Atlanta. Is this the first time for Brockton? Or I think this is the first time for Brockton, definitely the first time for the Family Center doing this. Okay. And but we realize that this is something that is definitely a need in Brockton as we work with families and families of teenagers. We can see where parents are having difficulty uh, in terms of managing some of the behaviors that they face. And as kids get older, some of the things that worked when they were children don't work anymore. And parents are really struggling to kind of keep up with that, especially when teenagers are like, you know, they're basically like adults and you can't always, you know, just uh, tell them to do something and they just do it. So there really is a lot of skill development that needs to happen in order to meet those challenges. And, you know, when you're talking about like effective discipline and stuff like that, uh, obviously there are plenty of cases over mm -hmm. at DCF where discipline so took on another dimension. Right, and, corporal uh, punishment. It, 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 that's not working for anybody and then there's all sorts of you know, charges flying black. And my right. wife volunteers over at DCF, and you, you, you hear a lot. You hear a lot. Of course, you can't tell me any of that stuff because it's confidential. Right. But, but like um, I said earlier, most of uh, most people parent the way they were parented. So if you were parented with corporal punishment, uh, you, that might be your first thing that you go to. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have other options, you're going to use the one that you have. So it really is about giving you some other tools in the toolbox to use so that you don't have to resort to those things that are uh, definitely inappropriate. My dad crossed his arms and would say, I'm disappointed in you, and that would be and that would, for me. that would work. I tried that with my son. It did not work. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously different styles work for different children, too. Right, so sometimes right. people have raised five teenagers, and they come to the sixth one, and they're like, why is this not working with this kid? And this kid just happens to be different. And, and having uh, a different approach uh, could be the thing that would make the difference between you know a child and a family that's frustrated and one that's able to kind of navigate all these challenges. Okay, so um, the, the, the actual dates on the flyer, again, are flexible. Mm -hmm. January 11th through February 22nd, uh, Monday evenings, Monday 5 to evenings, 7, yes. at the Family Center, which is at 1367 Main Street in Brockton, newer location. They used to be downtown, now they're over on the south, south side. Main, right. And there's a registration contact, which is Melinda Nealand. Mm -hmm. uh, That's my colleague. She will also be facilitating with me. Okay, and the phone number they gave is the is that the correct uh, yes the five zero eight six four nine three eight zero five and Melinda has an email which is Melinda M E L I N D A Neeland K N E E L A N D at B M C B A M S I dot org so and we're hoping uh, to provide. Uh, a meal for people when they come so that you don't have to worry if you're rushing for more you can come come there and we'll provide a meal uh, during the time that you're doing the group well I think this is great I think it's a great thing that you're doing we're glad to help you promote it and we'll do a check-in with you and okay, uh, that'd be and, great and uh, we'll play this and get people to watch it and join and participate great thank you thank so you much, very much for inviting Thanks for being me. On. thank you you're watching Greater Brockton Mark Lindy your host uh, Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.